Hey everyone, so this is just a totally for fun Tuesday video that is my favorite five grooves and my favorite five fills. The first things that came to mind when I sat down and thought about this. As I'm playing through these, you can find the notation that goes along with them in the description below. Click that link and you can go download a PDF with all the notation of the grooves and the fills, but I'll also have it on the screen too. The point of this isn't for me to show off anything fancy that I'm going to play, because as a matter of fact, these are not really that fancy, uh, not too glamorous. They're all very practical and very applicable. And these are grooves that I like to play a lot, whether or not I came up with them or I heard somebody else play them first. The fills are also very musical and applicable, I feel, and that I use in a lot of different scenarios. So uh, hopefully if you're new to the drums, you can pick up some cool stuff here. Or if you are an experienced drummer, you can just learn something new, take the opportunity to do that because it's always cool to learn. So this first one is just something that I tend to default to. I don't know why I like playing this so much, but I find myself like in videos sometimes if I'm just playing a simple groove just to demonstrate like a snare tuning or something, I'll start playing this groove at roughly this tempo and it's kind of a fun feel and you can get loose with it, you can keep it tight, it's versatile. This is probably my favorite 6-8 feel to play, and I love doing the beefy snare and the oversized gigantic 20-inch hats on this. I think it sounds cool. This next one is one of my favorite linear patterns to play. It's just a fun linear groove that sounds really good around 100 BPM, although of course you could take it at any tempo. This one is kind of representative of grooves that I really like to play. I love doing the one-handed 16th groove and then throwing in like little cuts, like open hi-hat cuts there every once in a while. And this one's actually kind of tricky to play at this tempo at least, getting it clean where everything locks together. Um, so it's a really fun challenge. It actually challenged me as I was sitting here recording it, making sure, okay, am I really getting this tight? Is it locking together? Is it feeling good? Because you definitely want it to feel good. This next one is really just a basic jungle tom groove uh, kind of groove with snare on four. You could also add tambourine on four. I actually didn't think about that. So you can get really creative with it. You can play around with a lot of different um, kinds of notes and instrumentations and variation uh, with this groove. And if you play a lot in church, you've probably played something like this. A lot of those kinds of songs have tom patterns like this. Okay, now for the fills. So this first one is a really cool fill that it comes directly out of a song called Ain't Supposed to Rain by Welshly Arms. They're a really cool band, go check them out. I heard this fill and this fill is 
a very melodic kind of feel that shows up throughout the song. So go listen to the song after you watch this, but it's really fun to play. There's just something satisfying about it. This next one is a simple half measure fill. Uh, when I say simple, it doesn't involve a lot of notes, it's not fast, but it involves starting the fill at kind of a different time. Sometimes you can do that by shifting things over a little bit, just changing the rhythm slightly, you can make a simple fill very unique. And I think this is a good example of that, where this is a good, a good fill to use if you're suddenly going into something really big and energetic. This next one is my stereotypical 30 second note fill if you're playing a song that's in the 70 to 80 BPM range and you just need a fast, lightning fast kind of fill around the kit. This is a really good go to one because it looks cool and it sounds cool and it's really not that hard to play. You just got to take it slow and make sure you're getting the sticking accurate and hitting the drums in the right spots. But again, there's something satisfying about it. There's something that just feels right about it and it's a really good practical fill whenever you need something fast, a good fast half measure fill. Now this one's a little bit weird. It's just something kind of funky that I found myself playing a lot lately and it's probably showed up in a few videos. Um, naturally it fits really well with a halftime shuffle kind of groove, like a Rosanna shuffle. You could go straight into this fill and it's just a continuation of the groove. Uh, or you could throw it into something straight. You can play it really slow, play it fast. Um, it's definitely one that requires keeping your right hand really tight with your right foot. So that's the challenge of it. So this last fill is one of my favorite types of fills where rather than playing a series of notes around the kit or something that's you know stereotypically fill-esque, this is more of like a band hit rhythmic kind of fill. So it's almost like a continuation of the groove just with this big rhythm thrown in the middle. So as far as application, this is kind of a specific fill, but you can take this idea and apply it to other songs and maybe there is a band hit in a song that you're learning. But I love this type of fill. And so if you haven't heard or played something like this, I just wanna encourage you to check it out and figure out your own variation of it that works for what you're doing.
right, so that's it for the five grooves and five fills. If you like this, if you enjoyed it, if it taught you something and you found this useful, um, I enjoyed making it. This kind of thing's really fun. I'd love to make more videos like this and throw them up on Tuesdays. So just let me know what you think in the comments below or shoot me an email. I will see you all Friday for the normal video. Thanks for watching.